Hi everybody, this is Donna from Many a Aprons, and today we're going to work on a Maj Paj Deco vase. Everybody that have saw have seen my other video is all excited and would like to see me do a vase. Well, I don't have a big vase like this, but I'm going to show you how to do this. And it's this is this the size. So this is the other one I had done, which I love. And it has the copper and the burnt umber, and it's just a beautiful vase. So we're going to work on it, show you how to do it. So, oops, me toilet paper and shred it up. And you can use any glue you want. I've been using wallpaper glue because I had wallpaper I was putting up and, well, I had a lot of it. So I'm using wallpaper glue and water. And I'm mixing the water and the glue together. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then, as all, you just take your your paper and... Lay it on. Just lay it on. That's all you do. Lay it on. And put glue to it. That's all you do. I'm going to have to have uh, a couple of videos on this for the painting and the um, decorating like I did. Uh, show you the rest of how I did it and shellacking and all that. So basically that's all you do. Just take your paper and um, lay it on there. and do whatever design you want on it. And the more of the paper you put on, the thicker the feel of the texture will be. So, I just lay it on. And the reason I'm doing it with strips of paper, because it gives it that uh, look that, um, nice texture look. And you can uh, get it in there. and That's all I do. You know, when you're a craftsperson or an artist, you don't fuss too much. If you fuss too much, it doesn't come out right. That's how I feel. I, I've i felt that way with my artwork. I look at it and look at it and I'm like, oh, something doesn't look right. But I've learned throughout the years that leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone. Otherwise, you're just going to keep on tormenting yourself. Don't be too fussy. Just layer on. It's... We're going to make it nice, come up, and just let it do its thing. Oops. Just let it do its thing. I should have my turntable. Fill it all in. Uh, you can use Maj Paj, you can use school glue, 
You can use whatever glue you want. And just tap your brush and get it in there. You know, make all kinds of designs. I got water all over the place here <laughs> from the inside of this vase. So that's that's part one. Part one is just making up your design of how you want it. Putting your glue and you know you could make this bridge thicker if you want. <clears throat> Just get a basic feel of it. And just tap it up or just give it whatever you want. some of these holes in there. Just a second here. At my turntable, make it a little easier. Turn it around. It's just a cake pan, uh, cake turntable <laughs> to do cakes with. And I thought, oh, that'd be awesome to use for projects. So, Just throw it on there. Get that texture in there. That's all it is. That's all it is. lay it. That's all you got to do is just lay it on there. Let the paper do its talking <laughs> where it wants to lay. See? And you can just keep letting it group like <clears throat> I did on here. I just went, say I went up a little bit higher. I let it go down. I just, just let it make a design. It's no special way. Just do it the way you want. I'm gonna, you work on yours. Come back. I'll come back and we will do another video. I'll come back and see how you're how I am done with this first. And then we'll do another video after it's dried and see if we need to put more on it or whatever. So 
I'm going to pause you for a minute and get some more of us done while you're working on yours. Okay? Pray right back. Okay, I got to show you what's going on here. So, if you have your phase upside down, all the glue is dripping down. Don't worry about it. That's what you want anyway. But you do want to take and get those lines out of there. So just take your glue and just go up with it. Because we're going to put glue on this anyway up here before we paint it. It'll help give it that a little crackle look. So if you have glue, or yeah, if you have this upside down and the glue is dripping on it, it's okay. That's what you want. Okay, so I don't know how far you are, but I'm going to put a little bit more on mine. And we will return. Oops, got a piece on there. And on some of them, you can take and do like the top of your ridge with the toilet paper. And it'll give it a same kind of a texture under here. But there it is so far. Not too bad. I'm got it. I'm gonna go up oh, a little bit more on this side. Yeah, that's gonna need a little more. Like you know, just some more going up. So I like it to show some of the artwork. And don't worry, if a lot of it didn't take the glue. You can go back and. Uh, once it's dried, you could even still put more glue on it. You know, it's going to be sealed um, with a lot of stuff. It's going to have paint. It's going to have um, other um, textures to it. So it's going to stay once we uh, get this on there. So... Yeah, so I just wanted to let you know that if you have glue dripping down, you want it to just take it and because we're going to do that in our next step anyway. But make sure those lines aren't there so you don't have little streaks of lines. So, um, yeah, because you're gonna you don't you're okay with the paintbrush lines, but. We don't want the dripping lines going down. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Continue working. <laughs>